this is why you can't be trusting everybody in your motherfucking head. And I ain't gonna sue nobody, but I'm mad about it. Cause bitch, this fucks up my whole motherfucking head. Like, for real, for real. It just makes me angry. And yeah, I reached out to them. And yeah, they gave me some solution to come back for a year so they can fix my hair. But bitch, look at this motherfucking shit. She sprayed that motherfucking Beijing shit on my shit to blend it. But now that I didn't wash that shit out, look at my motherfucking shit. This fucks up my appearance for my channel and every motherfucking thing. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to make my money if I can't even fucking be interacting with my goddamn community of 50,000 subscribers? I don't understand, y'all. I'm flipping out. I ain't no motherfucking hairstylist. I go pay for my hair to get done for a reason, bitch, because I don't know how to motherfucking do my shit when I'm alone. And look at this. Look at this shit. And she fucking gonna try to offer me a year voucher to come back. And the voucher looked like some motherfucking sweat my goddamn makeup off y'all because I'm so goddamn mad. Like, this shit is ridiculous. <sighs> like, over a hundred dollars, my nigga. Like, that's money, bro. Like, that shit ain't no motherfucking chum change, bitch. This is she's happy hair, bitch. This is a hundred a hundred dollars a bundle. And I fucking went and paid for a salon experience to come back with this shit, bro. I don't got no motherfucking hair. What the fuck you talking about? Look at this shit. All my fucking hair. This is how long my fucking leave out is, bitch. Look at this. There is no motherfucking hair right there. Yes, yeah, she fucking tried to help me by offering a year. Come, come to our shop and we'll do your hair for free for a year. No, bitch. No. No. My trust is fucked up. No. No, look at this motherfucking shit. I'm finna do another video so I can show y'all. Look at this motherfucking shit, y'all. I'm not fucking playing. I went and got my hair done, y'all. This is $400 worth of She's Happy Hair bundles. And I ain't talking about no cheap shit. I fucking went to this hair salon that I didn't been to like four previous times to get my hair done, y'all. And I always get the same fucking hairstyle always because i'm fucking just i'm just normal i'm a regular ass bitch i just get a little simple part middle part look at this shit look at this shit and this bitch burn my motherfucking hair off and the only thing she talk about is oops look at this shit bro look at this motherfucking shit and then i called the owner of the motherfucking shop because the bitch that she got in there ain't even licensed and then the owner had the, okay, so when I hit up the owner, I asked for my money back or whatever. And the owner was like, okay, well, let me call, see what's up, see what's up. So I guess she called, see what's up. She called me back. So she was like, okay, well, the same thing you saying being said or whatever. But she said that she offered you a two week to come back in two weeks to get it refreshed. Or you can come back and let her take it down and she can refund all your money. Bitch, what the fuck does it matter if I take it down or not? At this motherfucking point, you might as well just let me keep the fucked up hairstyle. Give me my money back and let me be great, bitch. Because this is not no motherfucking years worth of motherfucking girl back, bitch. That's gonna take longer than that. The fuck you mean? Then she talked about the section option. The second option, I could give you half your money back and a voucher, bitch. By this point, I don't even want to be on the motherfucking phone, bitch. I apologize for even fucking calling you because I thought that you was gonna justify some shit and make some shit right. But I see that you just another fuck the business owner in the motherfucking state of texas and i ain't motherfucking mentioning no names because really at the end of the day they janky any motherfucking way they probably motherfucking fried motherfucking money through their shit i should just fucking go pay 250 dollars 300 dollars for somebody to fucking do me right my nigga like damn the fuck bitch can't even fucking be normal like what the fuck bro i feel like a ball cancer patient bitch nigga gonna have to shift her whole motherfucking middle part just to even look good bitch gotta put all types of product in my motherfucking hair when normally i don't because a bitch got some motherfucking hair i ain't bald headed then the voucher i got sent y'all like i never go to that salon for nothing but an install that's it for nothing but a motherfucking sew in why did the voucher say full face of makeup Feed in braids or more. Bitch, what does in more consist of? More ball spots, bitch? Because I want to know. 
That's why I don't fuck with people, bro. That's why I'm fucking like. That's why my trust is fucked up. That's why I'm fucking unpredictable, bitch. That's why I'm fucking crazy. That's why I be fucking going through so motherfucking much because you can't trust nobody these motherfucking days, bitch. You be talking to somebody thinking that they just in look, thinking they entertaining you, thinking that they really happy for you, and all the time they motherfucking plotting on you, bitch. How the fuck you burn somebody's hair off with a flat iron? Tell me, tell me, cause I wanna know. <sighs> so now I gotta figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do to my hair, bitch. I'm gonna have to shift my goddamn middle part. Gonna be having a motherfucking uh, third of a quarter part, bitch, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Then she talk about come back so I can fix you again. No, bitch, try again. Let me show y'all this dumb shit. This is the last piece of hair out of $400, 22, 24, 26, and 26 inch bundles. This is all she had left over. This was before the motherfucking tragedy, okay? She cut this off and then she motherfucking burnt my shit off. Then, after she burnt it off, she didn't know what to do. She was just sitting there confused. And then the bitch talked about, oh, well, I might as well tell you before you get home because I don't want you to get home and see it. So, uh, oops, I burnt some of your hair off. So I said, let me get up and look at this shit, bitch. And I looked thinking it was going to be a little piece or something, something that a bitch could be motherfucking okay with. No, look at this. Look at this. You see this little tough hair? Look at that. Look at that. I don't got nothing. So now a bitch got to take some motherfucking 60 second bonding glue. Rub it on the motherfucking track, bitch. And slap it the fuck on there to cover up her motherfucking mistake. And you would think that the owner would be motherfucking sentimental towards your motherfucking pain because the customer is always motherfucking right. But I'm dealing with I'm dealing with Dallas hoes though. They so motherfucking unprofessional. They just know they don't want to work for the white man. I want to own a business, but bitch don't got no customer service. Now look what a bitch is forced to do to a motherfucking over a hundred and twenty dollar hairstyle. This what a bitch gotta do. Look at this shit. Look at this motherfucking shit. To make me a motherfucking part. To make me some hair, bitch, that you burnt off. I gotta go, I gotta put bond, bitch, the whole motherfucking point of getting a sew in is not having to put bonding glue in your motherfucking head. Shit. And I don't give a fuck about nobody looking at me talking about, bitch, why you yelling at the camera, bitch, because I'm mad. And I can't do nothing motherfucking else. Because a bitch is stuck. But that's all right, because I'm going to go bless somebody else's motherfucking pockets to fix this mistake, because, bitch, I can't, and I won't, and I will not. A pussy hoe could never. Bitch, even with the track, I'm still bald. I don't know what to do. I'm probably going to have to take this out soon, sooner than I expected. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> By this point, I'm so unsatisfied. I feel so ugly because my part is crooked. And when I, You know when you're on YouTube, you're doing them YouTube videos, them Look, the viewers, they don't play no games. They notice everything. And if ain't nothing right in its right place, they're going to call it out.
They gonna call me out for my crooked part. Chicken. Now, now it's business when I want to.